live on Man. YouTube. Yo, check it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to Alright, guys, it's Miguel here. We are live at IWA 2019. I'm going to give you like, a super quick rundown tour of all the crazy cool things we got here. Ready some of the fellow captains. Hey, hello. I was trying to speak German today to a taxi driver. It was hilarious because he had no idea what the hell I was saying. <laughs> but I got here. We made it. So we'll jump in straight away and go see what everybody's really keen about. We head over here. So going this way, up front, we've got the Hero Arms CQR, which is a, a platform that a lot of people are really keen to check out. Photo bombing. I can take that off. The <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No. This counts. This counts. <laughs> Undo that thing. Yeah. This totally counts. Uh, where's photo bombing? Over here. Uh, cool. Sweet. I'm back in there. On a red bull. And a red bull. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is the premium red bull for on the ice here. It's the premium red bull. It has the new yeah, extra uh, uh, trigger in the right. Yeah. So when it it's a cooperation between ICS, ASG and Hero Arms to create a completely fully licensed product. I've got an overview video on this on the channel if you want to know more, check that out. We move over here, we have the CXP Heliodor, which means fighter in uh, Spanish, I believe. So this is a super lightweight platform, part of the lightweight series you can see here. It has all the amazing juicy goodness of the standard CXP line in the put in a super lightweight package with an M lock for here that is in a nice polymer. Um, we've got the core over here, but we'll look at that in a minute because these dudes are doing something. We have the CXP Komodo Limited Edition. Put that on safe. So there's a thousand of these being released in this amazing. Amazing titanium grey. I like to call it battleship grey because that seems a little cooler. You'll notice straight away this handguard is different from one on a standard Komodo. This has M lock interface in there, which is really nice. And it gets rid of that crazy dark hidden away barrel behind this beautiful flash item just here. This does come with the S3 Gen 2 lower, which is awesome. Hey. Over here we have the XFGs in all the different flavours. Check that out. Yo. And then the X80s, you all know I love this one, the best. We come over here super quick, you can take a look at the prototype of the Makarov PLEP M2. This is a non blowback pistol that uses CO2, it also comes with this can which has working baffles in there so it can be super quiet. Potential Mark 23 killer, you tell me. Let's jump over here and check out the PLEP M9. You see here, this is ICS's take on the classic M9 pistol. Looks good, she best came down with no rails. It's available in black and tan. You know what it is, do the math. We head over here, you see all the classic lines that you've all come to know and love. The AAR, the G33, the CXP08 concept rifle. We got CXP15, which is one of my favorite platforms when it's got stuck. The standard old school Mars. I say old school, it's only a couple of years old now. Then you got the UK one and the MMR. The MMR is a really nice platform. It was the first of the ICS rifles to use the licensed M-Lock handguard, which is a super, super sleek, beautiful handguard. I really like that. Again, S3 system, looks great, fantastic. We head over here. You got ready? All right. <laughs> Let me check this out, standard. Right here, the, the good old fashioned 8582. Got the top Mars, which is the Galil leaf, with the foregrip. The old classic MP5 just there. M16A3, the Garand, Garand, Bruce Gun, and we got the Milkors, available in tan and black. You met people who have dropped these shells on the floor today, it's incredible. People seem to love it. Yo. Right, what do we got over here? Let's run over here real quick. We check this out. You can see the new single drum mag. Blue 2500 rounds, just there, electronically driven. And all the peripherals, including the S3 Gen 2 lower just there, which is pretty rad. Sneak over here real quick. You can see the pre-copy feature active right here on the Gen 2. Obviously this is split open, so you see this. This isn't 
a standard feature of this massive ball here. So you know that, that's just to show what's going on. So there we go, you can also see it, it's split gearbox design sort of. Hard to tell when it's put together like that, but yeah, there you go, split gearbox. Good times. There you go, split gearbox. This is the UK one Captain SCR, which is a fantastic GQB platform. Everybody loves that. Let's sneak over and check out the Porsche real quick. Here we go. Check out this German Rolls Royce goodness right here. This is the Porsche license replica of what is the German 1911. Internally, all these parts are like standard TM compatible, which is ideal if you want to upgrade or funny about the internals on this thing. Again, just like the uh, the CQR, it's a uh, do you like the aesthetics of this? People think it's a bit ugly, but I think it's like a bullet. True enough. You know, you like it, it's nice. But at the same time, it's got a face only a mother can run. There we go, that's, that's a super quick booth tour. The ICS booth. I'll jump back on over here. So I'm going to be going live again later on and doing a lot more content, a lot more videos. So definitely stop by and check it out. I'm going to go live before my battery runs out. How do you end a live stream on YouTube? It's Seth Barristan. I don't know how to do this. 